Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make um, a crochet dishcloth, but it's in the round. Um, I've been making these for quite a while now and they're really popular compared to the square ones where I am. I don't know why they're. Um, they're less bulky in your hand and they, I find that they are anyways. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I have um, handy crafter cotton yarn. You're going to need cotton, obviously, for dishcloths. And I'm using a 6.5 millimeter hook or a K-size hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by making a slip knot. So just hold your yarn like that. Wrap it around just like that. Put your hook underneath the first piece and grab the second one in the back and pull through. Tighten it and pull on that. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to chain five. So wrap your yarn around and chain five. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to take your hook and put it into the first chain and slip stitch. Grab your yarn, pull through that one, and then pull through. Oh, my yarn's not. There we go. Pull through both. Now you're left with a circle. Okay? So now you are going to chain two, one, and two just like that and you're gonna do um, 11 more double crochets into this circle so you want a total of 12 double crochets in to this circle okay so there's one already that counts as one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Okay, so once you get your 12 double crochets into there, you want to count three, the third chain from your hook, or the third chain from the bottom here. So one, two, and three. You want to go into here. And if you're confused about it, you can count back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, sorry, you want to go into this one right here. So you want to go into both both loops, the front and the back. Grab your yarn, pull through, and pull through the other one to make a slip stitch. Now, this piece of yarn that was hanging from the back, the tail, you can just pull on that and it'll close up the circle in the center. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to chain two again. So one and two. Now in every single stitch around you want to chain two double, or er, you want to put two double crochets into every single stitch. Okay, so this counts as one. And then right in here, you want to put one more double crochet right into that spot. It can be hard to get in there. Okay. Just like that. And then you want to put two double crochets in every stitch around. If you're new to 
crocheting and you don't know what a double crochet is, I do have another video on it. But I'm going to show you right quick again. So you wrap your yarn around once, go into your stitch, grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn, pull through two, and grab your yarn and pull through the next two. And go back in there just like that and I will come back when I have done this row again two double crochets into every stitch around okay so I'm at the end of my second row I've put my two double crochets in every stitch around and now I want to put my hook into this top chain here or top stitch grab my yarn and pull through both just like that all right so now for round three you're gonna again chain two you're gonna put two double crochets into your first stitch the same one that your chain two was in you want to go back into there and put one more double crochet just like that okay so then in your next stitch you want to put one double crochet okay and then in your next stitch you want to put two double crochet one and two and in your next you want to put one double crochet and then in your next you want to put two double crochets one and two and then in your next you want to put one double crochet and so on there's a pattern obviously so two one two one two one two one and so on and I will meet you back up when I am finished this round and we'll go on to round four together okay so I am finished round three I ended with two double crochets into the last stitch now you're going to count up one, two, three, and you're going to place your hook right into here, and you are going to slip stitch. All right, so there's round three. Now for round four, this pattern is so easy. You're going to chain two, and then you're going to go into that same stitch as your chain two and you're going to place one double crochet into there. So now you have two double crochets into that space. Okay, so then in the next two stitches, this time, you're going to put one double crochet into both of those stitches. So one and two. And then in your next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. So one and two. And then in your next two stitches, you're only going to put one double crochet into each of those. One and two. And in your next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. One and two. And so on. So you're going to continue this row in the same way. You're going to do two double crochets and then one and one two, one, and one, two, one, and one. Very, very, very simple. I will meet you and we will go on to round five together. Okay, so I just completed round four. You should always be ending up with your final stitch being um, having two inside of the one stitch. So now, right here, one, two, three, we're gonna go into this stitch and we are going to slip stitch to join just like so and then we are going to again chain two one and two and go into that same stitch as your chain up and you're going to put one double crochet into that stitch now again we are making another pattern this is why the pattern is so easy because the first one is two in every one second one is one and two, one and two, two and two, two and, like it's just easy. 
Okay, so then in this one, we are going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one, there's two, and then oh, three. And then in your next stitch, you're going to put two double crochet. One and two. And then one double crochet into your next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then two double crochets into your next stitch. One and two. Okay, so again, you're going to continue that pattern the entire way around. Two double crochet, one double crochet in the next three. Two double crochet into one, and one double crochet in the next three. Continue that the entire way around, and we will come back and I will show you how to do your final round and tie off. Okay, so now we are going to finish this um, row off and we're going to work on our last row. So you are going to slip stitch one, two, three into this stitch here. Slip stitch to join, just like that. And we are going to chain two, one and two. And into that same stitch again, as you chain up, you're going to make one double crochet into there. And that will be your two double crochets into one stitch. Now, for the next four this time, the next four stitches, you're just going to put one double crochet into each one of those stitches. So there's one, and two, three, and four <clears throat> and then in your next stitch you're going to put two double crochets into that one stitch one and two okay so then into your next four stitches you're going to do what you're going to put four or one double crochet into each one of those stitches so one two, three, and four, and then in your next stitch you're going to put two double crochets. <coughs> Excuse me. One and two. Okay. <coughs> and again, you are going to just repeat this the entire way around and I'll meet you back up and we will finish this off. Okay, so we are finished this row. So the last thing that you need to do is you need to slip stitch to join like you would in any other row. Okay, and then grab your yarn and pull that yarn through a little bit. Just enough. Cup, maybe like two inches or so. And then pull that snug okay now a lot of crocheters would kill me for doing this but you can do this you can either weave these in if you want to but I like to tie them off so what I do is I just grab this yarn and I'll like split it into two sections so there's two pieces on each side and then I'll just go in like that and grab one of them and pull it up through and then you just tie these I like to do three knots don't pull too hard because the yarn will break if you do so three times just like that snug and then just cut it like right about there and this will hold up Trust me. Okay, and then the same idea over here. So you just split this yarn into two, two even sections, just like so. St 
stick your hook into there and grab one of these and pull it through. Now, again, tie this off. One, two, and three. And then, again, just cut it probably a bit right there. And then, this is what your finished product is like. And people absolutely love these. And they crochet up so quickly. Like, I can make one of these in like six minutes. So, last minute gift ideas or for yourself, it doesn't really matter. These are perfect. Alright, so thanks for watching.